So hi, in this course, we'll first start with an introductory workshop introducing to the different aspects of mushroom, the scientific side of mushroom, the nutritional benefits of mushroom, which will be useful when you market them and the different types of mushrooms. What are the market prices of different types of mushrooms? What are they called? And then we'll basically build business building blocks around this. So you should know what is the different market scenario of different kinds of mushrooms, where they can be sold at what prices. Then we'll go on to a farm design. We'll design a farm, how a farm should look, uh, how you should place the mushroom back so as to get maximum space efficiency out of it. And then for this one example room, we'll calculate the basic profitability. So from unit economics to revenue, the cost to profit, to the recurring costs, to the initial investment, we'll discuss them all so that you can multiply it um, uh, with respect to the amount of rooms that you require and you can calculate what is the business sense that you can make out of one small farm. Then after this introductory module, we will have weekly modules, weekly classes we'll have. So in these weekly classes, we will handhold you to the initial mushroom cultivation journey and we'll teach you all the small tits and bits and all the entry cases of mushroom farming. So we'll first start with in week one, We'll discuss about the procurement of spawns, substrate and the different miscellaneous items that you will require in your farm. So we want to save you from all this hassle of finding the different types of things that you require from your farm uh, in the initial setup. So we will describe what are the quality parameters that you need to check during procurement of these items. What are the market prices of raw materials and locations where you can procure them from. So this will save a lot of time for you during the initial procurement journey. In week 2, we will discuss about the sterilization of cropping rooms and how we do it in our farms. We will show you that. Then we will go to substrate sterilization, the compost sterilization and the mushroom bag preparation. We will have a practical, we will show you how we prepare bags in our farm. Then once you get the practical sense, you will just watch us and you will make your own bags along with us. We will take weekly updates from you as well. So in week 3, we will focus on external parameters. What is the external conditions that you require to grow mushrooms? What are the different mushrooms that grow in different conditions from temperature to humidity to the light conditions that are required? We'll discuss them all. Then we'll discuss about the foggers and humidifiers that are used to maintain humidity. How you maintain the temperature, humidity, lighting conditions? What are the exact parameters for different strains that you require to maintain? We will also discuss about the do-it-yourself method to build your own humidifier system if you are starting at a small scale which will save you thousands of rupees if you do it yourself. Then we will also discuss about the casing preparation. So some mushrooms require casing like butter mushrooms, king oyster mushrooms or the milky mushrooms. They will require casing. How do you prepare them? What are the different parameters of casing that you need to be looking at? Now next week we will move on initiating the fruiting of mushrooms, how you initiate the pinning. So the pinning stage, what are the different stages which of fruiting, how do they look and what are the mistakes that you can have during this period? What are the precautions that you need to take during the fruiting period? How do you identify if you have made a mistake and how do you identify if the mushrooms are under stress? You have to identify that and you will need to watch these lectures which will show the different pinning stages and what are the different diseases and the different contaminations which can come during your mushroom cultivation journey. So they can be like green mold or wet bubble disease or the bacterial wet spots. So how do you identify them and how do you treat them? Now once your mushrooms are harvested, we'll discuss about the packaging techniques and the post harvest handling practices, how to increase the shelf life, how to manufacture the value added products. How do you initiate the second flush in bags? So we'll discuss something very, very important now, the marketing and the sales channel from Monday to online selling to the different partnerships from Amazon to Big Basket. So we'll now move on to the subsidy part, the FSAI and organic certification. We'll have an evaluation. So those who complete this course and apply for a certification, they will get a certificate which will be useful for loans and subsidy. You will also get a digital book for detailed understanding. So this would be absolutely free with the course. So thank you. I'll see you in the course.